Today, we'll learn how to add multiple strokes to text in Affinity Photo. I'm starting out with a blank document, and you can make this any size that you need. Then I'm going to insert a background image to go behind our text. I have this image pulled up, and you can download this same image in the video description. To copy it over, I'll press Command or Control C, then I'll return to our blank document, and press Command or Control V to paste it in. Using our Move tool, we can now resize this image however we want. I'm just going to zoom it in a bit more to see more of the detail of the paint splatters. Now that I like how the image is positioned, it's time to insert our text. I'll grab the Artistic Text tool down here. Then all I need to do is click and drag to specify the size of the text that we want to insert, and we can always adjust this later. I'm just going to type a word, and now it's time to choose a font. Now, to kind of go along with our paint splatter theme, I want to choose a font that looks like the artist just quickly painted out the word create. So for this, I'm looking for a font that looks like script. I found a great free font that you can use to create this script text effect. The font is called Mr. Defoe, and you can find it for free on Google Fonts. It has a beautiful look to it, just looks like someone took a paintbrush and scribbled it out. So to download this font, just click on Download Family. Once you've downloaded the font, just unzip the folder that it came in. Then all you need to do is find the .ttf font file. If you're on a Mac, just double click on it and then press install font, or if you're on a PC, right click on the .ttf file and then press install. Super easy. Now that we've installed our font, all we need to do is highlight this text, then come up to the context toolbar to our fonts, and then we can come down to find Mr. Defoe. Now with the Move tool, I'm just going to resize this text. With our background and our beautiful font, we're ready to add our multiple stroke effect to this text. To start, I first want to change the color of this text. We're going to have multiple strokes and colors surrounding it, so I think it would look nice if our text was the same white color of the background. So I'm just going to come up here to our sample tool and I'll click and drag. And then once I have white selected, I'll release my mouse. And then I can come up here and click on the sampled color. It looks like our font disappeared, but it's actually just the same color as the background. So now it's time to create our first outline. I'm going to come down to our FX icon then I'm going to go to Outline, and I'll check that on. Now I'm just going to adjust the radius. And you can see we now have a nice outline on our text. To create multiple outlines, you actually need a little trick to create this effect. To do this, I'm going to group this layer with itself. I'll press Command or Control G to do that. Now I'm going to click on the FX icon, then I'll check on Outline, I'll increase the radius, and then to better see this outline, I'm going to change its color. I'll click and drag with this sample tool, and I'm going to choose a red color. Then I'll click on the sampled color. So 
So the reason why this works is because you can only apply that outline effect once per layer. By grouping the original layer, we have our first layer with the effect, and now we have a second layer that we can apply our effect to. And when we apply the effect to the group, it will also apply the outline to our first outline. We can continue to group and then add outlines as many times as we want. I'll go ahead and do it one more time by having the group selected and then pressing Command or Control G. Then I'll come down to our FX icon. I'll check on Outline. Increase the radius. And then I'll click on Color to change the color. I'm just going to click and drag the color picker, and I want to choose a yellow color for this. Then I'll click on the yellow color. At any time, you can go back and adjust the radiuses of any of these effects. Just click on the FX icon to reopen that effect. At this point, you can be done with the effect, or you can add one more finishing touch. I'm going to go to our top FX. Then I'm going to add an outer shadow. So I'll click on outer shadow and check it on. Then we can adjust these sliders to create a shadow effect. All right, there we have it, our multiple stroke effect. Nice work. If you want to learn our affinity workflow, then check out the free course below.